Today we'll be refining these. Ta uh, what are they called? Transistors. <laughs> so it's got the long gold legs, gold underneath, and then we'll remove these caps. I'll do off camera. So we've got 500 grams here. I'll remove the caps and we'll reweigh and see how much is left without these metal caps. And then we'll refine and see how much gold's in there. He forgot to um, record the second part of this, me removing the caps off them, but as you can see, here's all the files from 500 grams. I got 220 grams after removing the metal tops, so here's the 220 grams. So I'll put it in here, add the sodium, not sodium, uh, sulfamic acid, no it's not, what am I on about? Uh, sodium nitrate, that's, that's the one. Add that hydrochloric acid and we're boiling uh, on the hot plate until it's all dissolved and then we'll drop the gold and see how much we got tomorrow morning. As you can see, that's the plastic bottoms, like yeah, plastic inside, and then the gold's wrapped around the outside. So that's all done now. I put it all in the beaker and weigh up. Well, start the refine. So it's just in the refine now. I'll come back when all the gold's dissolved, and then uh, we'll drop the gold and obviously fill it with it just before. There's all the rubbish, you can see. Can't see any gold there. Throw it on this side, you can see all the rubbish in the top. There's rubbish in the bottom as well, so that's why I filter a couple of times until it's all clean. So I keep washing until there's no... Um, acid on that and then we'll throw that filter away. Normally I reuse the filter because they become more and more useful the more you do it but too much little rubbish which will get through. So yeah, I'll throw that away, put a new filter in and fill it a couple more times until it's nice and clear and then we'll drop the gold. So I've filtered it so many times but it's still cloudy. I've literally filled it maybe six times. So I'm just going to drop the gold and then re-refine the powder so whatever is left manages to get through will uh, just come out in the next refine so it'll be all good. So I've dropped the gold now and tomorrow morning we'll come back and see how much we got. The gold was so fine I couldn't um, just decant it off so I had to filter. As you can see it's come out clean, the water is at the bottom so no gold's going through. We're now going to add this, the whole filter into hydrochloric acid and heat until it's a nice colour and then we're re refine and it should come out nice and pretty pure and we can mount it and obviously fill off this filter paper. I come back when uh, all the water's through and then we're starting the hydrochloric wash. So yeah it's on the hot plate in hydrochloric acid to clean. Just giving it a warm so it's nice and nice colour and then we give it our um we fill it off as much well we pour off as much hydrochloric as possible we might have to filter actually how uh, thin the uh, gold powder is and then um give it a refine quick and then tomorrow morning we'll have our gold powder we can then weigh up and mount and see how much we got so i've just finished a hydrochloric wash filtering the rest off most is done there and as you can see the acid's actually coming out green so somehow there's that much base metal still left in there. The rest of it's on for a refine. As soon as this finished filtering I'll chuck that in with it. So it should come out nice and uh, yellow and then we can drop the gold and sort out tomorrow morning. It's been a little bit of a strange refine. Uh, after filtering it, I think I showed on camera it was a very weird colour. After um, hydrochloric acid wash I mean. Uh, it's gone a bit cloudy again but this is it after the second refine. We'll filter out now. There's some ice cubes in that so what's floating about to help it cool. But I've filtered it through now and we'll see how clear we can get it and do another drop and see what gold we get. Almost forgot, always add in your uh, sulfamic acid to remove any excess nitrate otherwise, uh, or nitric. Otherwise you'll um, be dissolving it whilst dropping the gold so you won't get as much gold. There'll be a lot more in your waste so I'll throw that in as soon as it's finished filtering so I'm going to filter it a couple of times anyway to make it nice and clear. It seems to be the clearest I can get it. I filtered it another six times like I did last time. It's not looking too bad so we're... Um, Drop the gold when it's finished filtering, nearly has, and then we'll see what it looks like. Probably give it another hydrochloric acid boil once I've dropped the gold to get it as pure as possible, and then we'll mount it up.
all gold is dropped, just drying it all up now. Obviously giving it a couple of washes, decanted it all off. Looking good, so we'll see how much is there in a sec, I'll weigh it up. Uh, obviously I'm going to do a hydrochloric acid wash, but uh, actually I might do that now. I'll pour the hydrochloric acid in now before drying it, because it's pointless to dry. <laughs> so hydrochloric's in now. When that goes a nice blonde colour, we'll uh, decant it off, wash it, and then dry it again. Weigh ups, uh, we can weigh up what's left and uh, see how much we got from the 220 grams without the caps. With caps, it's 500. So, yeah. It's including the legs as well. The last video I've done is different transistors. This is the legs and the tops. So, here's our gold. Not very much, considering it was 220 grams without the caps of uh, transistors. So, I'll pour this on. It actually looks like a lot less than when I've done the same amount of um, transistors and only done the legs on my last video. So it goes to show you can get different quality because these actually look the same. Zero point five two grams, which is awful. That makes it like three grams a kilo for those transistors. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below on any video ideas you have. Bye bye.